Hey, Magician Rich Ferguson here today, and I'm going to be teaching you how to win some money with straws. Bar bets are one of my favorite things because they're kind of like a magic trick. They're kind of like a play on words. They're kind of like a stunt. They're kind of like a puzzle. It's all these things mixed together, and you win free drinks with them. So let me share you five really cool bar bets utilizing this simple tool. In this first bar bet, you're going to bet your victim or your friend five bucks, a beer, whatever it is, that you can pick up this bottle with just a straw or pick up a wine glass or some other kind of glass with a straw. So to pick up the glass, just bend the straw about the distance of the mouth, a speck, speck more. Put the straw inside the mouth and you'll notice that as you pull up, It's going to catch right there and it's trapped. It can't come out. So that's how you lift up a glass. You could do different types of glasses. There it goes. But it's preferable if you have a glass that has a little bit of a lip or if the glass tapers in at the top. If it tapers outwards and has no you know, lip, that little roll of glass, it's going to be pretty impossible. So that's how you pick up a glass. Here's how you pick up a bottle. You're going to do the same kind of thing. You're going to bend the straw. You're going to put it inside. You're going to find that sweet spot about right there before the straw opens up. There it goes. Now it's locked in and you can lift up this entire bottle with just the straw. In this next bet, what you're going to do is pull off the paper of a straw. You're going to push it down to where it's really, really compacted, just like this. And you're going to put this crumpled up piece of paper on the table and you're going to say, only using the straw can you get this to expand and be at least two to three times bigger, but without touching it with the straw. So they're going to try to blow on it and do these different types of things, but here's the real secret. You're going to get a little bit of water inside of your straw and without touching the paper, you're going to drip a little bit of water onto the paper and it's like a little science project. You're going to get this little snake to appear. You drip water and it grows and grows and that's how you get the paper to reopen up using the straw without touching it. In this next bar bet, you're going to bet somebody that they cannot get the contents of this bottle into this glass without pouring it and only using the straw. Here's the secret to the bet. You can phrase this, frame this any way you want, but here's what you're going to end up doing. You're going to put a straw into the bottle with it bent out. I like using the bendy straws because they don't crease. You can use a regular straw, but some of those when you bend them, they actually cut off the flow of the, the liquid. So this is a little bit easier for this demonstration. And what you're going to do once they fail is show them how easy it really was by putting your mouth over the outside of this and blowing in, which is going to push this volume of air into the bottle and force the liquid out the straw. It looks like this. And that is how easy you can get the liquid from this bottle to this glass only using the straw and not pouring it. This next bar bet's gonna drive people crazy. You bet that they cannot get this quarter to spin on the table only using the straw. Now you can set up any parameters you want because once you learn the secret, you'll see that it's using the straw and you're gonna blow air through it. You can allow them to touch the quarter with the straw to try to flick it up if you want, but you can limit it to, you can't touch the quarter with the straw. You can do it anything you want. But here's the actual secret to get the quarter to spin. You're going to come in with the straw at about a 45 degree angle near the edge of the quarter and you're going to blow. The blowing is going to cause air to go under the quarter, make this vibrate, and you're going to slowly tilt your angle to where you can push air on the side of the quarter to get it to actually spin. Oh, there it goes. Oh. It hit the edge again. There it goes. We got a nice spinner. In this next bar bet, you're going to bet somebody that they cannot maintain the shape of this goal post by only moving two straws and end up with the glass outside of the goal. So, 
What's interesting about this is people are going to move the straws around, but they don't think in a, the spatial way that's required for this trick to work. Because you demonstrate that the glass has to be outside, it doesn't actually have to be outside here. So what you're actually going to do is leave the glass. You're going to move one, two. And so you've recreated the goalpost, but in a different location and upside down. So people aren't likely to think of both of those things by shifting something a half of a, a stick distance and also reversing the direction of the goal. And you've accomplished what you said. Your glass is outside the goal and you've maintained the goal shape by only moving two straws. Well, I'm intrigued at how many tricks you can do with a straw and how many bets you can win using such a simple tool as this. They're around everywhere. Hope you enjoyed those. Please subscribe to my channel. I have so many more things coming down the pipeline just for you guys. I want to hear what your comments are. Please comment down below and please like my videos so I can be encouraged to make you more. I'd also like to point out that some of these tricks are coming from my book, Tricks to Pick Up Chicks. This is not what it sounds like. This is not a seduction book. This is simply a book that's a play on words. It's a uh, you know, bar bets and uh, icebreakers, party tricks, really simple things, some magic tricks, uh, a lot of humor. So if you're looking for a very simple trick for someone who's not really into magic that wants some basic tricks, this is a great book for that. And I look forward to sharing some more videos with you guys. Like I said, please comment below, please subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. This next one's kind of evil. It's one of my favorites to do at bars, especially when the person discovers it on their own and you just kind of sit back and laugh. Hey, I see you. You better subscribe to my channel for more pranks, brain games, and magic tricks. New videos uploaded every week. Thanks for sharing and watching my videos.